In this video, there are the basic steps to take in case the communication via Modbus TCP or RTU is not functioning on the BrainCube Connect. This applies to all IMIP Novotex products using the BrainCube Connect control unit. There are separate videos showing both RTU and TCP's wiring and commissioning on the BrainCube Connect. The Ethernet and RS-485 connection used for respectively Modbus TCP and Modbus RTU are on the left-hand side of the BrainCube Connect. RS-485 wiring. Check the order of A and B wires in the complete RS-485 network and the position of end resistance chapter on the BrainCube. S terminal is for the cable shield. For test purposes, it can be disconnected to see if it makes a difference. Disable key lock. In status menu, you can find a summary of settings and the state of communication as well. The checkmark by communication with server shows the unit has internet access. For Modbus TCP, this can indirectly show local area network is working. Here, the most important settings can be seen for Modbus TCP. Also, showing for both RTU and TCP if Modbus communication and remote control via Modbus is activated. See separate videos if IP address RS-485 address or other settings needs to be changed. Activate Modbus monitoring. This write information in the log files which can be saved on a USB drive. This info can be seen on the next screen. You can take a photo and send it to support. If the screen is empty, no message reached the unit. This could be wrong wiring, wrong addressing, wrong parity bit setting or simply that Modbus is not activated. Here. Modbus read requests getting to the unit. It shows the message of the Modbus master in hexadecimal under frame received. Thus, wiring and addressing is OK. The read or write request of the master can be incorrect though. In case you see messages on the screen, but no response from the Brain Keep Connect, check the installation operation document on IMI Hydronics website. Some things to note from the installation operation. Modbus RTU in BrainCube Connect always works with even parity bit, non-adjustable. Default device or RS-485 address is 11 decimal. Start address is 512 decimal for the read registers. Start address for the write registers is 1024 decimal. If the issue is not resolved, please contact local support and take photos, videos of the BrainCube Connect screens seen here, the wiring and also the relevant settings in parameter menus. Log files are also appreciated. 